Antonio from Bulgaria, Alan Mateo from Russia, Dmitry Vizi from Moldova, Oleg Petrenko from Ukraine, Vadim Stetsuk Ukraine, Ryan SV Canada, Ferit Osmanli from Turkey and Plumbing Dimitrov from Bulgaria. So the pair number one is Vadim Stetsuk from Ukraine versus Plumbing Dimitrov from uh, Bulgaria. The lightest guy in the class. Just 80 kilograms. Just 80 kilos. Vadim Stetsuk, big, strong Ukrainian versus, uh, I think, one of the most spectacular arm wrestlers that we saw in World Championships this year. Plamen Dimitri. Second at Worlds this year with left arm, 85 kilo plus. Yes, uh, he opened up Oleg Zok. Oleg Zok. And uh, he opened up. Hajimura Zeloyo with right arm. Right arm. Yes, he, he was uh, he was doing amazingly, and uh, he's really strong, really good. Don't make, uh, don't think that just 83 kilos and uh, he's weaker than any other guys. I have seen a lot of big uh, tournaments where he goes those and plays good in top, in open wrestlers. class, top three. So Plamen, he's the real deal. In Moldova, he has been, he has been second in Worlds. He has been second yeah, he in never, the tour. He's never been first. So he's, he's always won stage. any major arm wrestling tournament. He's, he's really won some, some, some uh, tournaments in Italy, uh, in Let's some, some uh, I think, uh, Croatia. He's been all over the Europe, but he's never won World. Vadim Stetsuk, five times top three in his Zloty Tour. Never, never have won Zloty Tour, five times top three. Top three yeah. So bo both so, are really world-class arm wrestlers. Plamen, uh, his signature top roll. I think he's going to do his uh, signature top roll. And uh, Stetsuk, uh, I think he's going to try top Stetsuk, roll. Stetsuk is favorite in this, this fight for me. And Plamen, Plamen said he has some overall health problems. <laughs> Same as Andrei Jankowski. He's struggling with his lower back for the last few years. And, and said uh, also, also last two weeks hasn't been the best for him. But we will see. Will we will see. It's a, <laughs> his performance. It's, it's really unpredictable here, and uh, we, we, we might see really good matchup here. I, I think this should go to the strap. They, they both are going to try, or that's a he's going to go for the a, side. Oh, and Plamen, and Plamen takes his wrist. Oh yes. But the Turk trying to push him. Really open. And, and we know. And uh, yeah, this is this is the position where Plamen struggles. A lot of guys can uh, he can open them up, but he's too low. In my opinion, he's too low. His elbow is too back, and he leans too much. Yeah, he loses the center. Stetsuk just pushes him. But it's just the first. We might see something different in second round because uh, he might work a little bit more on his wrist. It's a. Uh, it's going to be interesting, I think. Uh, but uh, Stetsuk, a lot of power in his side, round number two. That's a 20 kilo weight difference, and of course, also overall strength. Yeah. Lamin is really good arm wrestler, but that weight difference and overall strength difference. And they, also, they both are world class athletes. It's, it's also, not like it's uh, some guy from 100 kilo class, it's, uh, sure. it's one of the strongest guy from. Uh, 100 kilo class or 95, whatever. Vadim Stetsuk, Plamen Dimitrov, so... And for Plamen to open, to open Vadim's wrist, he really, really, really sacrificed his side pressure. He's pulling with a very open angle, far away from, from his, his shoulder, is far away from... So he can do good back pressure, back pressure but he loses side. And, side and, and with that, he loses center, and uh, it's hard for him to push him back. And but, but, he should sacrifice something yeah. to get yeah. in that position. Yeah. He, he always fights like this. And they both, it, will, it they both will do the similar thing again. Yeah. The question is, can Plamen hold yeah. this Vadim side pressure? And, and now a he's a little bit, little bit better position. His wrist is higher, but Vadim pulling, pulling, pushing. Plamen is in good position, but uh, this is draining him out. It's really close to the pad. And body fits you. Good fight, good match, good match, I think. We, uh, Plamen, Plamen did what, what I expected. It wasn't easy victory for Vadim. It was a hard victory. Again, he was very fast. 
but the uh, Ferris is very very strong. Ferris Osmanli five times world champion. In some period, one of definitely strongest men in our wrestling. He has beaten John Brzenk on some competitions. He has wins on uh, Andre Pusher, he has wins on John Brzenk. He has uh, been in Zloty Tour, top two, in second place in all the world. He second place this year, Zloty Tour. He was in the final in the World Under 20 Championship this year. Second, second, second. In super heavyweight. Yeah. So, very, very strong guy with left arm, which is his best arm. Both arms right are arm. good. Yeah. He, did, he did very interesting in Worlds. He did really good with his left and kind of bad with and right and Zloty he did the opposite so his he, he, from Russia. maybe he's just uh, leaving his leg for this event Bartaya. maybe he just left some just warmed up there Alan Makeo Alan Makeo from Russia from, from Ladikovka uh, his sister is uh, Irina one Makeyeva. of the greatest woman armistice if not the greatest yeah. It's very dominant for, for, last, for last 10 years. Yes. It's probably the strongest yeah. woman arm yeah, in the world. There are some good genetics in that family, we can say for sure. And uh, he's very explosive, very uncomfortable. Second place in Zloty Tour with uh, right arm and, uh, and first he won't with left arm. Yes. Left arm. Yes. Yes. Five kilo cross yes. yes. on left arm. Yes. Yeah. With and we, that that we final wasn't very, very nice. Uh, opponent broke his arm which was unseen before so everyone who just major finals yeah everyone who just tuning in my name is Ramon Sliepinch or Coach Ray as most of you know together with Jan Samolinch Jedi and uh, you can find us uh, we're doing our Voice of Armistling podcast from our channel Armistling Training by Ray and Jedi we're doing Armistling interviews and many other stuff but now let's get to this matchup it's uh, World Elite Armistling Grand Prix right here from Moldova we already witnessed right arm uh, in finals. We have Revas Lutidze versus Petro Marcarint, third place John Berzank. And now we're seeing second round of uh, eight man final left, left arm. arm. And uh, the first was really interesting Plamen Dimitro versus uh, Vadim Stetsuk. Vadim Stetsuk won. And now we're seeing Ferit Osmanli versus Alan Makiev. Yeah. Ferid, Ferid definitely will try to get inside and, and Alan Makeyer will try with his speed, with yes. his back pressure, go for, yeah. for a, a top roll and uh, getting he, getting he, uh, his arm in a little better position. There was We're gonna find a very interesting situation. So elbow foul Let's for Ferid. Yeah, uh, Alan is very ball. fast, very Ooh, uncomfortable Turkey I think for everyone, Ferid. especially on WAF rules. He's very, very this explosive, very and not just explosive, strong. So, Ferry needs a strap, and the strap, the strap and needs to stop him. Then, then we will see something. Yeah. It was much movement already before ready go. I, I remember that uh, in last Moldova event, uh, Alan won uh, Hutchings and, and Sasha. Yes, so he's young, very strong oh, athlete from okay. Russia, from Vladivostok. That's good sleep. As we and, said, uh, it has some good much. genetics, good genetics, and uh, working hard and uh, stepping out, up in armistling. Out of maybe greatest armistling gym in the world. Vladi Kelkas from that gym are more than 50 world champions, oh. all big names. <laughs> it's 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 Kajim Radzaluyev, it's Arsen Liev, it's uh, Ruslan Kokoyev, Alan Karayev. All, so all not, not, o- not only genetics, yeah. there is knowledge, there is uh, technique, there is power, there is everywhere. Everything there's is there's right there, so yeah, he's just using yeah, everything on matches. table. If he can uh, win Ferret, uh, that's, uh, that's a big win for him, I think. At, at weight, Ferret was more than 130 kilos, uh, 136. Uh, Alan was uh, uh, some, somewhere around 100, like 105, 108. Yeah. He, in, in World Championship, what he, he was in? He, he pulled in 100 kilo class 100 in the World yeah. Armistice Championship. He didn't, didn't do good, but he now did much better than Boca Tour. Yeah. So maybe weight cut for him, did some damage. The referee will move their hands, wrists and uh, fingers. So 
Strap is applied. Ferry to Smanley, Vercella McKeever. Also, Ferry had some break in Armas Link. He, he was, was, hadn't been active too much last year before. It was so, a moment before. Yes, before already uh, really Alan, go. Alan. So in the strap, yeah, Ferret is. Ferret can catch him and stop him. Is that what we said before? Yeah, Ferret need a strap. Ferret need a strap. That's much easier to, st to stop Alan's yeah. explosion. And for for Alan, he, he 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 needs to not get the strap. He he needs those flash pins to win. Ferret or Smalley, I think. Closing the arms. Again, it's, it's a lot of movement before, and and Alan catches him on his angle, holding him up. Yeah, he he had a lot of time to talk with the referee, saying what he didn't like. So Ferret is a little bit more of inside, but he took on his angle. Opening his wrist up. Alan is doing. <laughs> Alan is in better position and he very good position. Alan is in better position now. Yes. It, so what the referees will do? Because I saw that that was kind of intentional from Ferret Osmanli, but there was one before that. As we said, they awarded to. Referees are a little looser. They're, they're letting some something slide right now. So it and was elbow foul for second elbow foul for Alan Mageo. For me, what I saw, it was intentional uh, push forward. But before that, he did, he did before that. I think uh, Ferret just wanted to show that this elbow was, was, was coming up. I think it was. Yeah. I think it was. Okay, re so referees are always right. But right now we see and know that Alan can match him in strength. It, 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 it isn't just speed. Alan, Alan was in really bad position and he was he, was, he lost work, those wrists, he lost those back. rotation and he was able to get yeah. back in much better position. He got him on his angle, made Ferret hold him and just pulled back. And uh, now we know that uh, he can do it because uh, we thought that uh, before this match that Alan has the speed and Ferret has the power. but. Uh, we will see what uh, what happens next. So I think referees are calling back to the table, taking their place. So again, they're not changing places. Same sides again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Interesting, but Ferret uh, Osmanli by Salah Makiev. So one for Ferret. It's uh, again one of. Uh, more even matchups we see today. So, right arm was uh, first round was just uh, very one sided. With left arm, we see more struggle from both sides. So, the draw did the, this the, magic. You know, the draw was uh, a little bit better, I think, for us viewers, for everyone watching. Very hard to leave any millimeter, no stone unturned, nothing to the opponent. So I, I think the first match hit them really hard. There, uh, I can see Ferret, and then also Alan is a little bit exhausted. Most most likely they will get in the straps, and if I would be in a place of athletes, I would ask maybe opponent want want to use straps. Yeah, right. I think I because, think because it's a first round, and uh, if you if you get to the first round, you need you need uh, need to some strength left. Because anyway, I think they will. Or maybe they're using just, just to, and winner. Yes. Yeah. Very fast, and he walks his wrist, so Ferret lost his wrist. This is where, this is uh, where Alan can beat him. So, 1-1. One, one. for this very, very interesting fight. It was very fun. Look at that review. Very nice. Alan we have one, one. Let's see who's gonna win the next match. Oh my God! This so is I think history. again, Ferret needs a strap. Ferret needs a strap. Oh, Ferret Ferry needs a strap. But uh, what, what we see now, I will be really, really surprised if uh, something will change. And at the because moment, Alan, Alan is in a much, much better WHB. situation. Yeah. yeah. Because we see that Alan. Alan is fast, Alan, Alan But is I, I don't think on the, on the first round, uh, Ferret was trying to get him hooked. 
he, he was trying to get in the hook, but he went for top roll. So, can he get inside? Yeah. It's, uh, I think inside is a much better chance for him, right but we don't, we, we're... Athletes know better, I think. You have to get inside. Yes, you have to get inside, especially if you can be really, really good hook puller, but if you are not able to get inside, your hook doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the longest matchups we've seen. Yeah. It's, uh, all the other uh, are, are really fast, and we go, and it's a strap. Yeah, it's, uh, so Ferret, uh, Ferret didn't lose the start this time, he was on point, and he gets the strap. What in Stetsuk, who won in the first fight, is waiting for his opening from this fight, and hoping he's watching and hoping to see some few more rematches and a few more slips. Some fouls, some slips, some uh, yeah. uncomfortable positions. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Stetsuk lost his wrist too, so... I don't know who would be more comfortable for him from this matchup. It's really strong. B both of them are really strong, and as we see today, pulling on top roll. Yeah. yeah. It's really interesting that they are not switching sides. So, if you stand on the left side, the strap is always going to be on your side. Sometimes, it, it, some athletes they get bothered with it. Uh, it's not always advantage, but yeah. uh, I, myself, I don't care. I really don't care. I think you, 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 you're feeling better when it's on the opponent side. Yes, I yeah. prefer when it's on the opponent side. Yeah, but it's uh, it's different for everyone. Maybe maybe it's good for Farid. And again, referee grip. And he stops, but he takes his wrist. Well, he's not in a good position. Yeah, he, his uh, arm is open. Confident. But he has both. Well, Alan's elbow was over the pad. Referee, did you say that? And then he said, yes. One more time. Ladies and gentlemen. He did it twice. So elbow foul for Alan Makiev, but again we saw Ferret pushing him, pushing him, finding a way to win. He says that Ferret is pushing again. So we see some prizes for the winners. So again, winner of this left arm class will get 5,000 euros. Everyone who loses in first round uh, will get 500 euros. Second place, 3,000. Third place, 2,000. And fourth place, 1,000. So all the winners, uh, the first pair was, uh, will meet with the second pair. Winners go on top. And uh, from that pair, all the winners go to the final. And losers will have... Uh, fight for the third place, which will happen right now, and finals will be later. So, before this, right arm, Revas Lutiza versus Petro Marcarin will be in finals with uh, right arm, and um, third place, Perfect Storm, John Bazang. We saw, if you if you missed that, uh, you can find it a little bit later, but John Bazang uh, was back on table, pulling good, having some good, good matches. So, Back to the straps and back to referee grip. One foul for Alan McKay. So he again, he needs to get a little more on side. If he loses the center, Ferry can get in position. Even with flop wrist, he can hold him. That's what's happening. We're waiting for the start. Let's see that. Yeah. And a yeah. little bit better position, but again, he should be very yeah. careful with it. Close, I think, and yeah. it's yeah. win for Alan McHale. Ah. He stays. Yeah. He stays on the edge of the pad. It's really for for him. It's uh, he needs to be very very careful with all of this. So this was. Uh, Round uh, number two, second pair five. number two. What we will see in third round? Ryan Espy from Canada versus Dimitri Vizi from Moldova.
So Canadian against local this boy. This will be a very interesting yeah. match. Ryan Espy. You see how the history is made. 2002 you know world champion, 2003 world champion. Very Long time ago. This is the future of our This year he was on competing on Masters on and uh, on uh, seniors as well in World Arms and Championship. And let's he did really the good. Two participants mm. of this event from Canada for the first time in Moldova. Ryan Espy. Ryan Espy has uh, good matchups and uh, good success with uh, in North America. He has competed not only in Canada. He's been to WL. He's been everywhere. He's one of the good heavyweights from. 2016 he won Lord Armistice League Regional with uh, Sean Lottimer in second place and Norman Thompson gets third or, or even or no Norman Thompson gets second and Sean Lottimer third yeah. I, I remember in finals so he will pull against Dimitri Vizi uh, from Moldova one of the local uh, one of the strongest Moldovians in the country maybe the strongest uh, Last event in open class, he got fifth place with both arms, which was really good with so much strong guys right there. Dmitry Vizi, uh, he has a lot of motivation, he's training really hard, and uh, Moldovan arm wrestling is growing. Federation is supporting, and uh, as you see with this great event right here, well, elite arm wrestling are doing their thing here in Moldova. So Moldovans are stepping up. We will see them in super matches as well, but uh, only one in top eight on final left arm, Dmitry Vizi from Moldova. He was 115 kilos. Dimitri, is a uh, Ryan was 160, 160 kilos. So Ryan is about 35, 45 kilos heavier. We will see that uh, Dimitri Vizi has what it takes to beat Ryan Espy. Because Ryan, I think, is favorite in this matchup. Uh, all the experience, all the years. Uh, but again, on home soil. Dimitri Vizi. So, World Elite Armistling Grand Prix 2018 here in Moldova, together with uh, Cobra Roads Production and Moldovan Armistling Federation, are doing this event, uh, having good, good matchups from uh, from some local armistling stars, together with the uh, world level world-class athletes from all over the world. So, we're waiting for the start. Ryan SP, Dmitry Vizi. Looks, it looks like she's going to go to the strap. Ryan, Ryan is usually going for top roll. Yeah. He has a very, very solid hand. I think mid, uh, Dimitri, is so standing, now, the way he's standing, I think he will go for top row as well. Or at least for together, the strap. We have a referee grip now, they don't have to move. Donor, she don't know if you don't want to do a referee grip. She don't want to do a referee grip. And he catches him, he catches him. And he takes his wrist. So Dimitri got him in uncomfortable position, but he came back. In my opinion, he stayed in this position too long. He he needed to do something right away. As we see, he gets stopped. He gets in a little bit of a king's move, then gets back, takes his arm, and pins him. So one for the Ryan SP from Canada. I think for Moldovians it's really good that the, these kind of competitions happen, so they can see what the level is in the world, how much they need to add, or, or maybe they are already there. And uh, Dmitry Vizi, even if he loses this, this matchup, he will come back stronger. He knows how strong top guys from uh, Ryan, North America are. In the North America have been competing in Canada and in the United States. Those two countries have their 
uh, real tradition in this sport. And they're fighting a lot. We're waiting for the start. For so. And it's start Dimitri Vizi, a little oh bit more of inside pressure. Much better, yeah, better, but, uh, better he's, for Dimitri this time. time. His wrist looked really solid. He, he didn't really open up. And, yeah. and in straps, yeah. I see he could do better. Yeah, he might, he might with straight wrist, just it's really, get inside. really, really not easy to pull against uh, Ryan, with, who has such a long uh, forearm. Anyway, really, really good le leverage. When they're, gripping up, when they're gripping up, you can see that Dimitri's arm are small. Than Ryan, really so hard. the arm hand, 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 hand is much yes. smaller, hand. but the uh, arm too, he outweighs him by 45 kilos. So, <laughs> arm too. <laughs> yeah, with left arm, it's a little bit more even uh, matchup. Much, much more even well, fight here, especially in the first round. It's, it's one, one, one against zero for Ryan SP and the uh, winner of this fight will, will meet next round Jordan Sonio from Bulgaria and Oleg Petrenko and it's, it's zero Good, good match from Dimitri, he tried Yes but uh, Ryan came prepared. Yesterday we talked with the athletes from USA and said Ryan came to fight. He was really excited, really wanted to do this. So this was the third pair. We have one more left. And we have Oleg Petrenko versus Jordan Sonev from Bulgaria. Oleg Petrenko from Ukraine. Yeah, young, young Ukrainian athlete. Just uh, 22 years old. 22 years old, the arm wrestler from uh, Ukraine. Yeah. Has been a uh, world junior and European uh, uh, ju champion under 21 for youngsters. This year in a uh, world championship in uh, Turkey, he was second place. With right arm? In 85 kilo class, yeah. right arm after Hajim yeah. Radaluyo. Yeah. And he's pulling versus Jordan Sonev. Jordan, Jordan, yeah, yeah. from uh, Bulgaria. He's also 23, 20, 20. Again, he's I think 22 years old. Yeah, Mr. He's so, so they both are young. Very young, both of them. So, and Jordan has been uh, three times in a on a world podium. Never has been, ne ne never has won, but always doing good and was second also today. this year. So the last pair of final eight left arm here from Moldova. So winner goes up and uh, will face Ryan Espy. Loser will go home with 500 euros. And um, then we're gonna see, uh, after this match, we're gonna see guys who won the first pair. So we're gonna see Radim Sechuk versus Ferris uh, versus Alan Makiev. They're young, still strong, and will leave no stone unturned in order to show us the best show. Success. Jordan Sonio, Bulgarian arm wrestler. He's staying together with Krasimir Kostadino. We might see some similar style from him than Krasimir. Uh, the way he puts his uh, Jordan, leg in. Jordan always really good in defensive position. Yeah. Can can hold him. Position. I think this, this, this should be... Petrenko will try to go for, for top roll. will try to go for Jordan's yeah. hand. But I, I think uh, Sonia is a favorite in this one. If he, yeah, she gets inside, but uh, Petrenko can hold him. Petrenko is good, really inside. In front. Finally, we're seeing some hook action. A few centimeters. Yes, yeah, he, he tried to top roll. He came back. Yeah, he tried to open, but he couldn't. 
We, we see that Petrenko isn't comfortable in foot, but he can hold you. He can hold you. Sonov is more comfortable in this position. And yes, Jordan Sonov. That was a good match. That was a really, really good match. Petrenko tried to top roll, but uh, maybe he needs to initiate the hook. Maybe he needs to go and hook, get better position and just finish the match. Because uh, he couldn't do nothing with the top roll. He stayed right there. Sonnev has good, good uh, rotation in his wrist. We saw, we saw Gela Kubiashvili, legendary Ukrainian arm wrestler. gave some advice for uh, Oleg Petrenko. We will see if it, 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 it was helpful or not. So round number two. Au toate șansele ca în următorii 10-15 ani să devină I think Turner is going to do the same thing. I don't know what uh, Petrenko is doing. He's standing a little bit more of inside. Maybe he will try to... Or if he will try not to lose his wrist. Yes, yes. Or like himself in the hook with the leg. Getting, a, getting a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. Going with triceps. Elbow foul. Uh, too bad. <laughs> But um, he initiated the hook, he got his side in, for Oleg. Yes, he, he was his rotating his arm. He gets his shoulder behind, he, he gets the center. Working with his tricep, pressing down and it was going his way. But uh, one elbow foul. Now he needs to be really, really careful so it doesn't happen again. Sonia's endurance are really good. Same as Krasimir Kostadino, he is working a lot on the table, a lot of table time practice, uh, most, mostly sparring, not so much weights. So he's ready for long fights. For, yeah. We know that Krasimir trains three times a day on, on two, table. Two, three times a day, yeah. on, only table only time, table that's talk. crazy. Yeah. But that's, that's oh. how he's saying works for him. Maybe not today, but uh, usually it does, usually it does. So I think now it looks uh, from Petrenko put, oh, Jordan got in a deeper more hook. Aggra more aggressive, more aggressive this because time. he knew he was going in hook as well. But Petrenko is in a little bit better position, pressing with triceps, pulling, pulling closer, working on his bicep, trying to open him up, rotate his arm. Few centimeters of the pad. Elbow for Petrenko and Sonu. Oh. I really wanted to see the third one. But this was really good matchup. But they took a lot out of uh, Jordan Sonner. He's going to have a hard time facing Ryan Espy. So it's Ryan Espy and, and Jordan Sonnev in the second round. And Alan Makkeyev and Vadim Stetsyuk. Those are the semifinals. So now we will see seven semifinals. And uh, after that, there will be a matchup for the third place. As we said, so everyone who lost the first round will receive guaranteed 500 euros. Now, everyone here, either it's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. Semi-final left arm. Let's announce that and let's go. Let's pass it over here. Let's see that for the whole of the world. World Elite Arm Wrestling Grand Prix. Final eight, left arm, semi final. Lost a little bit of his wrist, but his side press was there, and uh, in first round he beat Slam and Dimitri. And his opponent from Russia, 
Alan Marquez. Wadim had much easier first round. Yes. I believe he lost less energy. But I, I think still uh, Alan can take his risk. Alan can take his risk, but uh, can he hold him? Can he hold him? Because uh, Tetsuk can push. He can really push with uh, that wrist, flop wrist. He doesn't care. Let's see what Russian Ukraine will show us today, guys. Semi-final. We wish you a very, very from good Ukraine final. versus Alan McKeever from Russia. Keep your strength and spirit. Go on. Vadim Stetsuk from, from the same club where Andrei Pushkar, so, so he's, a, he's a, one of most known students of Andrei Pushkar and arm, his arm wrestling style and technique are pretty similar. He's going yeah, he for stands really, really good, yeah. good side pressure, standing high, shoulder close. Yeah. So they will go for referee's grip. Again, the question is, can uh, Vadim catch Alan? He's very, un very uncomfortable for everyone to pull without the strap, I think. Was there. The there was elbow foul for there. Alan Makayev. His elbow went elbow off the pad. Fast and explosive out of blocks as always. Yeah. Sometimes even a little bit before ready go. It's not easy to see that from referees, but this time his elbow foul. Yeah, his elbow came off the pad. <laughs> more than few centimeters so we're seeing a restart so one foul for Alan McKeel and and second elbow foul for Alan McKeel second Alan yes. coincidental so modern to two he gets foul too so decision is neutral no all both guys one we see that Alan can pulls. take his wrist. Alan, Alan can open and him up. And, uh, that means it's anomaly. They're even Alan McKeel wins the first the round. Winner, Let's see the next. Alan was so in really good shape in his Lotte Tour, where he won 105 kilo class. Yeah. Uh, I really think Guys, that Alan the can take, uh, what you can take the today. first place today. What we saw after the third match, I think he's uh, it's just just one one zero now, so he still has to be bloody in the second now. round, but he's looking good. Yeah, he's looking really good. He's uh, he opened him up three times. Three times he opened him up. So they're struggling before the start. They're just uh, asking for referee's grip, I think. It's going to be easier in referee's group. Can Vadim Stetsuk stop him or at least get the strap? Most likely they will not do anything different. Yeah, I think the same, same thing. Stetsuk's style is always similar. Alan just going to make sure that uh, he doesn't lift uh, his 
elbow or, or, or stay on the pad. And that's it. He will top roll him a little bit closer than the first two times. So. This is very important. Waiting for the start. You can so, see that the referees are not so strict today. Yeah, Normally in, in, in a World Army Swing Championship, you would, would see foul. a foul. Yeah, straight away if someone Here. doesn't let to close their arm or something like that. But um, for your entertainment today, we're a little bit looser on rules. World Elite Arm Wrestling right here same, from Moldova. Same, same as us, uh, also organizers and fans, everyone wants to see a fight. Yeah. I, I, like the, I like when there's a good match. And it's easy victory for Alan Makeyev. Very fast, very uncomfortable for everyone. I think so he, he can... can... So we can first finalist. Yeah. First finalist, Alan Makeyev. Yeah. Looking, the way he handled the, and stopped Ferret was incredible, so we know that he's just as strong as, as he is fast. So. Second semi-final. Ryan Espy versus Jordan Sonev. Jordan Sonev, Bulgaria. Look at that big guy, when I'm looking at these arms and that weight, 165 kilos of raw power and strength from Canada, here on stage of Moldova. Ryan Espy from Canada, 160 kilos, and uh, his Yoda opponent with, uh, I think he was under 100 kilos, Yoda Tsonev had a uh, tough first round versus uh, Oleg Petrenko and uh, we don't know if he has recovered and it's a big challenge, big challenge. I think uh, Ryan is favorite in this matchup. So in finals, it's already Alan Makeyev from Russia. He's right there waiting for second uh, finalist. The athlete who loses this round will go through and uh, he will do I, I know, can we call it semi-final, so but it, it will be fight for the third place. Like the winner will get uh, 2,000 euros, the loser will get 1,000 euros. So, I want to see good hook match. <laughs> can Jordan get him inside? If, if he can get him inside, I think he can manage to get some things done. So, we're here live from Moldova. This is World Elite Arm Wrestling. My name is... I'm on Samolinch, called Trey. I'm together with Jan Samolinch, uh, Jedi of Armasling. Uh, we're doing our podcast, The Voice of Armasling. You can find us on YouTube. We're doing interviews with top athletes. And um, this event, uh, we did some great interviews, and we will do some interviews after this. But right now, let's just enjoy these Armasling matchups that we have today. So, Jordan Sonev versus Ryan SP. Can he get inside? Can uh, Sonev get inside? Uh, Ryan. Elbow foul for Ryan. Elbow foul for Ryan. And I think, I think Sonev lost the start a little bit. He lost the start. He, he get inside, but it was, he was too open. He was too open. We will see what happens next. Can, uh, can he do it? Ryan is uh, fresher. 
Rain is pressure, pressure for sure. Bigger. Sony will have have really hard cooked match with Oleg Petrenko in the first round. How old is Ryan? How old is Ryan? Alan is uh, 40 plus years old and he's an arm wrestling more than 20 years. So, so he's uh, on the table probably, probably more years than uh, Sonia is old. Sonia is only 22 years old. Bulgarian arm wrestler. Alan Ryan AC was world champion already 2002 in, in uh, USA World Championships in 2003. And it's a home, but Ryan, yeah, and actually Ryan went uh, direct, directly to Pat with good side hit. It's going to be hard for Sonia to do something. He left so much on the first uh, pair. So in semi-finals, Ryan, uh, Ryan prefers uh, top row, but he can really good. He can pull inside yeah, as just, well. He just hit him inside with this one. And again, he doesn't care and, about and again, it's a big, big overall weight difference. Weight difference. It's it's a 60 kilos weight difference. Yeah. <laughs> Sonia is not a small man, but here, if we compare them, He's, uh, he looks. Much smaller. Much smaller. Yeah. He's maybe taller, <laughs> or just as tall. He's not. He's not taller. And, and we straight have to the pad. Winner, winner Ryan of the first, uh, second semi-final, Ryan Espy. So Ryan Espy is this in the final. This was the uh, match. Okay. The second match of the semi-final. Interesting. Alan Makayo, Ryan SP, we will see it later. We're moving forward by the rules of our event. Now it's going to be we fight for the third place. To share the third place of... fight. So for the third place fight, of course, we need the two defeated persons from the semi finals. But still, we were talking about tonight's history. So we Tsonev versus uh, Statsuk. And we're talking it could be a foot match. Yeah, I think they're both gonna go inside. To be happy. So we in we might see some longer matchups. We're very thankful to Cobra Productions and the Cobra Roads for its preparedness at this event. We're very thankful to all the guys, to the government of Moldova, and to all our VIP persons that are here. And we're doing this best of the best because we want to show the world we can do better and better and here on the stage of Manish Arena are going to fight for the third place of the final the next two from Ukraine Vadim Stetsu So the match for the third place, Vadim Stetsuk versus Jordan Sonov. It's a really short break, short yeah. break for uh, Jordan. Yeah. But uh, he didn't get much exhausted in the last matchup. It was uh, he was exhausted on the first already. So I think we're gonna see hook. I think we're gonna see match and hook, and just uh, a little bit fresher guy with better side will win. And let's meet his opponent from Bulgaria, Jordan Sone.
Statuk might be fresher, I think. Yeah. Those, uh, every time you get in a hook and you stay there for 20 seconds, it drains you. That's the fight, fight where, so where we will see Jordan is, is trying to go for top roll. Yep. In the first few fights, he was going inside and this time. Nope. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think referee Stop. missed something. I think, I think referee did a mistake. He shows that, that Jordan uh, is a winner. Yes. But Elbow. We definitely, definitely saw <laughs> something different. Something different happened. <laughs> so one fold he's just pressing one inside, and um, I don't know. If, uh, I don't think it may be the best strategy for Jordan to do to go for top roll. But we saw Vadim losing his wrist. What is there? Is it warning? Or the referee is not showing anything, no signs. I think the referee just broke a nail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit yeah. painful. <laughs> so, so at the moment she's more worried about... She's angry, fingers. she's angry. <laughs> Whose fault it is? What is fault? And now it stays a little bit more in center. Yeah. What is there? What is there? Let's see that! Vadim Stetsuk. The winner now for this match. I think is Jordan Stetsuk. needs to go. Is that rest was too short for yes, him to he, recovery he, after previous fights. But uh, I don't think he and can first, top roll. First round for Jordan yeah. inside with Oleg Petrenko it was was war. War. It was good war. Good it was good long war. fights and he's tired. For first fight he was running out. He was jumping up to stage. This time he went slowly. He, he was taking his time, and at the moment, same. Stetsuk is waiting, and Jordan is taking his time. So if someone just tunes in, this is a match for the third place. The winner will go home with 2,000 euros. Loser will take 1,000. Jordan Sonev from Bulgaria versus Vadim Stetsuk. And it's cooked. It's Radim Stretsuk taking the it level. I think it was already on one, one before. Alan had tough rounds going to finals and still managed to win them. On WEA Spain. Russian athlete, young, strong, fast, from Vladivostok. And Alan Mikhaev is going to meet right now. We see some bruising on his arm. From Canada, Ryan Espy. It's from going on these close positions, uh, holding close to the table. Looking confident. I think uh, Alan always has confidence. He, he doesn't care. He's, he's here to win. He doesn't care. doesn't care who's standing on the other side of the table. Ryan Espy from Canada, the big man. Again, much bigger man in this matchup. Full to this year in Masters and Wap and uh, Seniors and with good success. I bet this is going to be a very, very good battle. Let's not start. So again, I think Ryan just needs to get that strap. We tell him everyone needs to get that strap and try to stop him. He's so explosive, so fast. And... Um, So this is the final match from World Elite Arm Sling. Left arm. Final eight. Final Alan Matea, Ryan SP. Winner goes home with 5,000 euros. We had Vadim Stetsuk on third place. Yeah. In, first, in first round, 
Allen won against Peritos Manley in second round. It was Vadim Setsuk. And he oh. beat Ryan in his way. It was first round against Dimitri local boy Dmitry Vizi. And second round uh, against Jordan Sonio from Bulgaria. Waiting for the start. And it's a strap. It's it a was an elbow jump from Alan. Yeah, it's elbow foul. It's not a strap, it's, it's elbow. elbow. I think Alan always tests it out. <laughs> can I can I get away with it? Can I get away with it? As soon as he knows he cannot get away with it, he's uh, more careful. This such explosive hit, it's not easy to hold your elbow on pad. Yeah. You, you, if you if you try to do, if you try to control your movement too much, you lose your speed. But I think we're gonna see strap. Both are going for the open show this time. I think they should uh, <laughs> start with the strap in this one. No, no one wants to fight without the strap than with these ones. Maybe Alan a little more than Ryan. The weight difference here, again, is really big, I think. About 50 kilos, something like that. Close to that. Alan, Alan is around 100 kilos, maybe more. I don't remember exactly his numbers and rating. Uh, Ryan is 160, so he's about 110. 100, something like that. It's a big difference in weight, but um, does weight matter? Not always. Not always. W when we talk about uh, 11 <laughs> seconds, really, then the weight matters. Yeah, but we just just saw Travis and uh, Georgi. Travis and Georgi, and yes, of course, of course. Quality. We will see. That's what, that's We're waiting matters. for a start. And it's Ryan. I think it was. It's a start it's from, uh, from Ryan. Oh, Ryan. And was it false start or was it elbow pad? The so camera was a little very away. Intense, very intense and dark fight. So it's a one one the fight from both of them. So this is the final of the left arm. After this, we will see, I think, <laughs> explosive, interesting, and long super match. That's what we're expecting. Daniel Prokopchuk from Moldova versus Mindaugas Teresais from Lithuania. It's going to be, I, I think, the topping on cake. Uh, they are so close. Oh, they have uh, met so many times on, on table for years, and it's going to be really great, epic super match. But we're still on round one, on the finals, left arm, final eight, left. Haven't seen this kind of format for years, I think, in, in, in arm wrestling. I think they did something similar when there was uh, Bautashvili versus Brzenk and Krasimir and Prudnik. And yeah. In a few seconds, we'll but they did it in not in a one, one day. Oh, so, so that was elbow foul, big elbow foul for Ryan. We, we see that Ryan is stronger, but he needs to be a little more careful. He opened up Makir. The first win for Alan Makir. Alan can still Let's gonna see what's gonna happen. Still, still uh, fight good. It, the position wasn't so bad for him. Yeah. Uh, Ryan he, he, even, and, even, and he, and he let go as soon as he saw that there was a foul. Yeah. But uh, again, uh, with Ryan SP, he need to be more careful. 
His, his uh, strength is up there, but elbows are jumping. Yeah. He lose a wrist and he's hit. And it definitely was an elbow foul. Yeah, elbow was over. However, referees before tournament said that they will not count fouls which are Ladies not giving you any advantage. But this time, I, I think, is, is, I, I think there was an advantage with such small fouls. I think they're more focusing if it's just lifting up. If it goes off, then it gives you advantage because you get in position, even if you put it back. So I think they're more focusing if it's just uh, some jump starts uh, or, or in the middle when you're changing your position in a match. So 1-0 for Alan Makayev. So he's one victory away from winning this tournament. So there is an the ref agree. I think it would be really good motivational boost for both of these athletes winning this match. We don't see Ryan Espy that often in, uh, in Europe. We saw him this year in Turkey. It's it's just second time. <laughs> Not that often. Maybe will he will come more. Alan is competing everywhere. <laughs> He's, we were at super matches in start of the year in Sweden. In our battle of Sweden, he fought against Nanestad. He competed in Europeans, he competed in Worlds. Worlds and some local tournaments, Lotashino and many, many others. So foul for both of them. Consensual fall. Both participants. Consensual fall. That means no fall for no one. Referee We're three. close to three hours already. Yeah, we started at the uh, Six here in Moldova and it's uh, 20 minutes till nine. So <laughs> local time. Yeah, local time. Time flies really fast, I think. Here in my head, it was like one hour and a half. <laughs> and uh, it's a victory yeah. for our no. That, that, that's it. That's a decision fans don't want to see. Alan Makayev! Even, even if, see it's, it again. if it was fair, but see it again. We have a new winner, Alan Makayev! Still, the fight ended without pin the in end. any of fight. Yeah. Well, but sick. congratulations to Alan Makayev for, uh, for doing his best to winning ah. this match. And uh, over, Ryan Espy. Come over back. We're going to talk to you a little bit now. Ryan, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see our left-handed champion. This is kind of stuff that nobody knows when it happens. You've seen Ryan. He's a big man. He's from Canada. He's very ready. But anyway, we have Alan McKay from Russia. He's still looking small, but very big. And let's see what he thought about that. I always want to compete with the people from in other uh, cities, like you say, very strong man, thank you him so much. And thank you the organization, uh, they saw uh, the stars of our wrestling, very nice to see you. Thank you so much, guys. Have you ever th thought that you can beat such a big guy? See you next time in this competition. Love Moldova. Думал ли ты когда-нибудь, что Райана ты можешь победить такого большого спортсмена? Yes, almost. I think uh, in our wrestling, not is the powerful who is the biggest. The powerful is who know how win the biggest. Big applause to this guy! Thank you very much. Thank you, Alan. Thank you.